Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we were working for our academic friend, don't you know? So let's continue with that, shall we? For purely scientific purposes. Oh my. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, Olbeen. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! <laughs> um, sure, I guess. I mean, this guy's obviously completely nuts. Follow me. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Quick, man, quick. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, right. Try to calm down, Professor. Down. I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, mm. Professor. Mr. Marston. Yeah. This is marvelous, the stars. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Come on. Okay, so this guy is like coked, completely coked off his brain. Um, sure. I I've no idea what he's got sorted, but this should be fun. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. <laughs> Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I love Nastas. This is so um, sarcastic. <laughs> it's just it's funny as hell. Um, yep, we definitely didn't have to kill the bear. Um, pretty sure there's something not quite right with this bear. Well, we can stop now, and we're going to skin the animal before we move on. And I'm going to pause the video, guys, because I've apparently got to go shopping uh, early. So... I'll carry this on once I've come back from shopping. <laughs> A wet blanket. I mean, honestly. Alright, come on then. Where's midnight? So, I return from shopping and dinner, no less. Nah, we'll be eight. God damn, look how good this game still looks, though. Honestly really does. Now this is going to be something, isn't it? The meeting of the minds. Bearclaw Camp. Well, we've been here once or twice. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Yes, I would be careful throwing the insults around if I were you. Oh, they're all strapped up. This could be interesting. 
Hmm. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Boston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, oh shit! Oh. Professor, get down now! Somebody Well, that was. That went south pretty bloody quickly. Alright, this is gonna get ugly before it gets better. Uh, oh, hello, Chief. I see you there. Uh, yeah, you need to shut your mouth, mate, because you're making things significantly worse. Stop sniveling, honestly. Show some composure. All right. Okay, high-powered pistol. Yep, that feels high-powered. <coughs> oh man! Whoa, what's going on with his face? Oh, let's search his pockets. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, well, it's like our Indian friend bought the farm. That's rather. Unfortunate, should we say? I actually was not aware that he died, but then I suppose kind of makes sense. So Dutch is certainly using these natives, uh, which is unfortunate. Now he's obviously spun it in a way that they think they're getting some kind of retribution or something, but this is not great. And we are certainly going to have to do something to help these guys. Unfortunately, that's going to involve feeding lots of them bullets, I'm sure. Let's go. Okay. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came from. I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. Completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Oh, my God, they're back. oh, hello. Well, I'd shoot them. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Alright, now we want to kind of keep looking forwards because we don't ex really want to be flying off any hills here. Or mountains. Alright, he's kind of out of range. Come on, Professor. Oh, my God, there's loads coming in. That's fine. Oh, this is absolutely happening, sir. That bullet went... Oh, God. That wasn't fantastic, was it? Got a few bullets left. Ooh. Man, that was juicy. Although, they are pretty much all around us. All right. Oh man, we've got like no range on that guy at all. Yeah, I'm trying to return to him. Oof. He's had enough. You know you're gonna die, right? <laughs> We're all gonna die, John. It's just a matter of when. Ooh. I can safely say that, that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. He's been Last shot like three times. I will never talk to you, of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. <laughs> Something to clear the mind, to restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Yeah, I would be giving up on those syringes if, if I was you. 
have another syringe. This guy's gonna like OD. I get the feeling that he doesn't need to be shot to be um, finished off. Yes. Boiling in a pot. Boiling in a pot, he says. I don't think they were going to do that to you, mate. Somehow. Okay. Now, um... Yeah, cool, cool. Right, let's go do another mission for him. I didn't think he had that many missions, though. This might be the last one. Oh, we've got to come back. Between 6... PM and 5 a.m. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to go and advance the time. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Let's go see what our friend McDougal wants this time. The prodigal uh, son returns to Yale. I guess he's going home. Professor. Oh, it's your dear boy. Come in. Come in and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? <laughs> I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> okay. Dutch has certainly lost his mind. Oh. Oh, come here. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Well, that'd kill the moment. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. <sighs> okay. What are those two doing in there? Now we've, uh, certainly been a bit of a cock blocker. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Hey, 
<laughs> All right, let's stop winding those two up. Bless them. Now, if we could get on this ladder, that'd be fantastic. All right, calm down. Oh, hello. Stand back. Well, sir. Uh, lots. Okay. Take out Dutch's snipers. Well. Where are the police when you want them? Um, dude. Can we, can we take cover? Thank you. Do you like a bit of cover? Ooh. He had it pretty harsh. <laughs> Stop whining. That's all he does. He's an ac academic, don't you know? But all they do is complain. Ooh, that hurts. Shut the hell up. That really hurts. There we are, that's better. I'm guessing this gun just doesn't have much of a range on it. That's fine. That makes sense. Let's take out... Um, the buffalo rifle. And let's see... We can't turn some gentlemen... Ooh! We have no gun in our hands. That's curious. I mean... I'm sure that's fine. I think that's <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Random. Come on then, let's make a break for it. Turn some gentlemen into pink mist. Oh dear, that's not good. Yeah, John, you got to start using the ladder, mate. Oh damn! Look at the ac academic go. What the devil? Who are you talking about? No devils around here. Okay, let's get on the horses and go. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. <laughs> and he was so happy to be back here, not that long ago. Right to the station. I'm not staying in this place longer. This really Oh, good God, that was funny. Still a little bit life what do I have left. To do? Hopefully, there's another game in it. Oh, hi guys. No! Here they come again! We know. Oof, God, we know. All right, he's done. He's done. And he's done. Although only one of them died. Curiously. Oh God. We are about to die as well. Let's try that again. Alright, that was close. Let's go. That really was as close as it gets. It's fine. It's fine. Our dead eye meter has been thoroughly drained. Slow it up, giddy up. Make your mind up, friend. Oh, here they come. Good lord, do they ever give up? <laughs> Good lord. Of course they don't give up. They are unknown government goons. Or, well, evil henchmen, shall we say. Not exactly government goons. I'm sure we'll be dealing with the government goons. Soon enough. We've got to go too? Or are we just gonna see him off? My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, 
Goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Oh, well, that was emotional. So long, Professor. So long, sir. That was very emotional. Okay, so... Who do we have to work for now? Ah, we've got government goon. I should have guessed. Well, considering we have our safe house there, there where we can save it. Um, now, let me guess, he's back in Blackwater. Yeah, Agent Ross. Son of a bitch. I'm guessing we've still got Dutch to hunt down. I don't actually remember that, like actually hunting down Dutch. It's kind of interesting. Looking forward to seeing how that plays out, but... That's going to have to wait for the next video. Um, ah. Or maybe in the start of the next video, we'll go down and see Mr. Dalius and son. I guess he's going to be ready to make his maiden voyage. Unfortunately, that is a good trek away. Actually, it's not too far. So yeah, that's what we'll do next video. We we'll go see what he's up to. Got to be good for a laugh, right? Um, and then we will carry on with Agent Ross. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.